Welcome to the technical studies. In this video, I will show you the step-by-step -step method of fabricating a simple structural beam. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. Let us have a look at the drawing. Item number one is UB or universal beam. The size is 203 mm into 133 mm into 25 kg. Usually we call it I-beams. The length of this beam is 2406 mm. We need one piece of this item. The second and the third items are 10 mm thick plates. The quantity is two numbers each. Item number two is the end plates of our beam. Item number three are gusset plates. Look at the front view of the beam. Observe the position of the gusset plates. The gusset plates come below the beam. In the top view, you can see, the gusset plates are not attached, exactly on the beam web. It is, off-center. These observations are, very important, in construction. There are, two sets of holes, on the top flange of the beam. Note the hole size, distance etc. Look at the bottom view of the beam, there are holes on the bottom flange. Let us read the notes. Never do any fabrication activities without reading the notes. All dimensions are in millimeter unless noted otherwise. All welds are 6 millimeters, continuous fillet unless noted otherwise. Remove all burrs and sharp edges. Assembly marks to be hard stamped and shall be clearly visible. Mark and cut the beam. Never give extra length for beams. Cut the exact size only. Remove the burrs, correct the squareness etc. on both ends of the beam. Prepare the end plates and gusset plates by cutting and drilling them according to the specified quantities. Tack weld the end plates on both ends of the beam. Mark the whole centers as given in the drawing. Drill the holes. Rotate the beam upside down and drill holes on the bottom flange of the beam as per the given dimensions. On the gusset plates, draw lines through the center of the holes. Mark the distance from the end of the beam to the center of the hole and tack weld the gusset plate on its position. Provide proper support for the gusset plates and the end plates. After the welding, remove the temporary supports and clean the weld and the sharp corners. Please subscribe, like and comment. If you need this drawing, you can download. The link is given in the description. Thank you for watching the video.